guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to be back here with you guys. I was gone for a week and if you follow me on Snapchat, you know what's been going on. I'm just gonna start filming and doing my makeup because this is gonna be like a chit chat, sort of like get ready with me video. So I will make this intro into like 30 minutes long and then it's gonna be like 30 minutes more for doing my makeup and it's gonna be like, whoa, two hours of that. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to be using all drugstore products today and then I'll be telling you guys why I was gone for last week and let's just jump right in. So before I start doing my makeup, I'm just gonna put some tape on the corners of my eyes just so the look could be a little bit more sharp and clean and the reason I'm just gonna jump right in and tell you guys because I don't know if you guys could notice but my face is still a little bit swollen from last week and I have a mosquito bite which is like you know a little a welcome back sort of kind of thing for my videos um, but I went to the dentist last Monday and I was supposed to just take out one wisdom tooth and I've never taken out a wisdom tooth before so I was like really scared um, but I ended up having to take out two which was a little insane and it was crazy because the first one that they were taking out I felt the entire thing and it was just the worst pain that I've ever experienced but anyways my face was swollen like crazy so I couldn't even move I couldn't talk I was basically mute for an entire week which was kind of like a struggle um, but I just started feeling better Sunday I want to say and today is a Monday so basically like yesterday um, but yeah that's why I was gone last week and I don't know time just went by so fast and my face was so big I was so scared I'm like oh my god is my face ever gonna go back to normal but it was just the right side I wish I could show you guys the picture I actually have it I look so different it looks scary right now I didn't even say what I was using this is the elf shadow lock eyelid primer and this is just to help my eyeshadow stay in place so for eyeshadows today I'm gonna be using the new L'Oreal La palette nude one and I'm also gonna be using the Maybelline the blush palette I actually went back to buy this after you guys were telling me that you actually did really like it and that you never really had an issue with it so I was like I'm gonna give it a shot because I always like listening to you guys um, reviews and opinions about products and this is what it looks like. I got the um, the palette that had a little bit more of like warm shades. So I'm gonna go in with a Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to put it all over my crease and a little bit on my lid just to add some color to my lid. And there is so much going on this month, you guys. It's gonna be like a really crazy month for me because I'm going on vacation next month. I'm pretty sure you guys already know that. And then I'm also moving this month. I've been like talking about it on Snapchat. I haven't really told you guys anything here on YouTube, but my lease is up this month. So I pretty much have to find a place to move to. And we have like two places that we actually really like, but we're not sure, like we're not 100% sure in it. So uh, it is so hard. It's been really, difficult to find a place that we actually really like and that accepts dogs because you guys know that I have Mackie boy and surprisingly a lot of places do not take pets which kind of sucks I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and I'm going to take this dark brown shade right here and I'm going to put this on my outer crease Now I'm going to go in with a Sigma E38 brush and I'm just going to blend that into the inner part of my crease to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines. I'm taking in this taupe shade right here and a flat E32 brush by Sigma. I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Taking a buff and blend E39 brush and this dark shade from the palette, I'm going to apply this on my outer crease. Now 
Now I'm going to go in with that same E40 brush and I'm just going to blend everything in together. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to take this vanilla shade and I'm going to apply this under my brows. For eyeliner today, I'm going to be using my NYC New York Color Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to create a thick cat eye. I need to remove this in order to make the cat eye uh, uh, a little bit thicker. For my lashes, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara and I'm just going to put one coat on top. And to top that off, I'm going to go in with my Ardell Double Up Lashes in the number 202 and this is what they look like. I also went back to using my House of Lashes glue just because I feel like this one by Duo, which I was using for like I want to say two months, it wasn't just it wasn't doing it for me anymore, and it wasn't like sticking to my eyelids anymore. So I was like, I need to get something that's gonna work and it's gonna dry up really quickly. Although this one does dry up fast, I feel like nothing right now has beaten um, the House of Lashes adhesive. So if you haven't tried it, it's eight dollars and. It's worth trying out for real. So, okay, so I'm gonna move on to my face now. Now that I've done my eyes, I wanted to do something simple because this is the first time that I'm doing my full face of a makeup in an entire week. And I didn't wanna do something like super, like, oh my God, it's so crazy. Cause it is Monday and it's like the beginning of the day and I am gonna go out. So I don't wanna like, you know, look like I'm going to a club and I'm going to like Forever 21 or something. So, oh, and I'm still apartment hunting, so we might see another apartment today. Um, so for foundation, well, I'm gonna prime my face first, but for primer today, I'm gonna be using the NYX Shine Killer, and this is a mattifying primer, a drugstore primer, which I do really like. And I'm just going to apply this mainly on my T-zone. I did go ahead and moisturize my face already. Ugh, it's so hard to put foundation on when you have rings or anything. Um, yeah, so I already went ahead and moisturized my face with my favorite moisturizer. And I'm going to put this primer on. And it feels so nice and smooth. Oh my god, I love it. Um... So I was going to use that foundation, the Maybelline foundation that I showed you guys in my drugstore haul. But honestly, I didn't see myself using that foundation like I would if I was using my L'Oreal foundation, which I gravitate towards a lot. Um, so what I did was I just ended up returning it because I'm not using it, you know? So if I'm not using it, there's no point in me just having it in my vanity, just taking up space or, you know, wasting money because I'm not going to really use it. So I just went ahead with my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, which is one of my favorite drugstore foundations and one that I really like and has worked great for my oily skin. Um, so I'm in the shade 105 right now, which is a nice um, natural beige. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And if I had to recommend a foundation from the drugstore for oily skin, I would definitely have to say that one. There was nothing wrong with that foundation, but I just feel like there are better drugstore foundations than that one. And I believe the price for that one was $14.99. And this one, I think it's like $12.99. And it's actually better, so just saying. Um, so I'm just gonna dab this in, and every time like I touch it, like ugh, it hurts. Because it's still a little bit swollen on this side. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like sucked in. And by the way, I lost 10 pounds in one, not even one week, in five days, I lost 10 pounds. That is a lot of weight. Oh my God, even my butt left. I was like, where are you? 
Where did you go? And that's what happens to me like every time I lose weight. The first thing that leaves is my butt for some reason. It's kind of weird, but it will come back. I just have to eat some chicken fries, some chipotle, um, some Dominican food, and I will be good to go. My butt will come back like in a week. Anyways, we're going to the Dominican Republic, so I'm going to eat, 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 because I love, love their food. And obviously, I've never been over there, and I've never, like, tasted food straight from there, so I'm excited. I'm mostly excited for the breakfast stuff. So, yes, yes. And by the way, I do like this palette right here. Like I said, I was going to end up using both of them but i didn't use this one just because i felt like i wanted to do like a really nice matte look today and yeah i feel like i i just needed that palette i didn't need to use both of them all right so for concealer today i was going to use my elf concealer which i do really like because the consistency is really nice and thick but it's too dark can you guys see that it's like actually the skin, the color of my body. And I need it a little bit lighter just to highlight it under my eyes. So I'm just going to go grab my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm going to use the shade um, Neutralizer, even though I like the other one, but I just can't find it. And I don't want to go like on a massive hunt right now. So this one should work for me today. And anyways, my skin is so much lighter since I didn't get any sunlight for a week. So it's actually blending in really nice. So let me tell you guys about the two apartments that we saw and that I absolutely love. But what I'm looking for is just a two bedroom apartment because I want to have my own beauty room, which is like, like a big deal for me. Um, and then I want to have like our bedroom because I want to keep it separate. Right now we have like no space whatsoever in my apartment so obviously i need something that's big enough for that so the first apartment that we saw i really like because it has everything the rooms are perfect everything is brand new no one has actually lived there before because the building is actually new um but i don't like the location just because i feel like it's nearby a really popular street so it's really noisy and whenever i open the windows we're gonna have to deal with like listening to the trains and honking and you guys know in new york if you live in new york it's it's kind of crazy on the daytime we, we like where we live right now because it's kind of like suburbanized where there's not a lot of people there's not a lot of traffic there's not a lot going on um so we just want to stay in the same area so the second apartment that we saw it's actually in this area where i live right now and i absolutely love it the only issue is that they don't accept pets so um we're trying to talk to like the people the real estate agent to see if they can do something about it like maybe we can pay an extra fee or something to have mac with us um but yeah i love it it's perfect it's like the same thing as the first apartment that i told you guys about a brand new no one has ever lived in it um but no pets allowed so we're gonna have to figure that out and i'm like so scared i'm like oh okay please just take dogs i don't understand like i could understand from an owner's per perspective why they wouldn't accept dogs um but i feel like if you you have a really small dog that shouldn't be an issue right whatever happens i will update you guys and of course I'm going to be filming. I'm not going to stop filming. It's going to be hard because we have to move and go on vacation and pack at the same time. And we didn't really think it through when we were planning everything. So ugh, it's going to be difficult. Um, so to send my under eye concealer, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. High definition under eye setting powder. Now this is the first time I'm using it, you guys. It's been like three weeks since I've owned it and I haven't even opened it. So... Ooh. Well, it is nice. It's blending in. The only thing I hope is that it doesn't give me a white cast. But I'm going to take a picture and I'll update you guys in the info bar if it ended up, you know, showing up on pictures. 
but it is really fine mild. What are you doing, Mac? What are you doing? But it's not better than my Laura Mercier Potter, for sure. For shizzle, man, is though it is not better than my Laura Mercier. Um, but it is nice, and we're gonna test it out for the entire day and see how I like it. I forgot to blend this in right here. My concealer. I'm going to use this today. This is the True Blend Fix Stick by CoverGirl. And I've had this for a really long time. I want to say like a year. And I haven't really used it to contour my entire face. But I always use it to contour my nose. Because it's really easy to carve it out. I'm gonna intensify my contour a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX um, blush, and this is in the shade Taupe. And I'm gonna take my NARS Eater brush, and I'm just going to carve it out a little bit more. This is a blush, but you can use it to contour your face if you're like light to medium skin tone, because you can definitely pull this off. and bronze up my skin I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Stay Mad Natural Bronzer in the shade Sun and Bronze and I'm using a Sigma F40 brush to finish my eyes I'm gonna go in with the same palette and a flat definer brush. This is an E15 by Sigma, and I'm going to take that dark brown shade and I'm going to apply it under my lower lashes. For blush, I'm going to use this new palette right here, and this is the e.l.f. blush palette. And I think I'm going to go in with a this shade right here. Well, actually, no, this one's prettier because it's like a raspberry blush shade. And I'm using a duo fiber brush by Sigma in F15. This is nice. This is super pigmented, so you have to be very careful. And like I said, a dual fiber brush applies your blush a little bit more natural and also gives you like a really nice airbrushed effect. So that's why I really like using a dual fiber brush instead of a, a regular brush. To highlight my face today, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the shade Golden. And I'm going to apply this to the high points of my face. And this is a golden highlight, which I really like because there's not a lot of drugs or highlights that are, like, you know, wearable. So I really like this one. For my lips, I'm going to try this new liquid lipstick by NYX Cosmetics in the shade Sandstorm. And... This is nice. I did apply a lip liner, but I already started packing all of my makeup. So the first things that I started packing were my lip products. So I don't have any like lip liners outside to use. The only ones that I have are right here and are like all my MAC liners. So I went in with Nice and Spicy by MAC, which is kind of cheating because I was going to do like all drugstore in this video. But it is the only thing I have and I topped it off with a drugstore product on my lips. So I think it should work for you guys. But this is the final look. 
I absolutely love it so much. I can wear this eye color every single day because it's a pretty nice neutral matte color that you can pull off with any single outfit. And I have this nice like suede top that I want to show you guys and it looks really nice with it. I want to do like an outfit of the day picture so I'm probably going to do that after this video. Um, but this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this video so much. I miss you all so much, like always. I'm planning so many back to school videos this week. Giveaways, tutorials, outfits, just a whole bunch of different videos. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys have any requests as to what videos you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. As always, I love hearing your feedback and what you guys want to see. Well, I will see you all in my next video. I know in my last video, I was like, I'll see you very soon. And I didn't know that I was going to a dentist and that that was going to happen. But in this video, I will see you probably tomorrow. Bye, guys.